time for a little test. Here's our pump. Here's our test rig. Here's our pressure gauge. Uh, here's our trusty kilowatt that's measuring the input uh, of our switching power supply. Uh, we're running 123 volts and we have 7 watts uh, at idle. Uh, here's the switcher power supply and uh, has a fairly impressive uh, output. And uh, it's got this cute little voltage display, kind of like that. And we're going to drive, try driving our 24-volt uh, DC pump. So here we go. And uh, the idea here is, is to note uh, the watts of power uh, into the DC converter in order to drive uh, the pressure to any given point. So here we go. Uh, turn the pump on. We'll note uh, what we've got here at uh, zero head, and uh, then we'll start increasing the pressure and see what we get. So here we've got. about 30 psi and we're running about 150 watts and we got to keep in mind uh, that we've got some some overhead in uh, the conversion here let's keep going to see how, how it works there's 80 psi there's still one we're still well under our DC Converter output limits. Let's go to 100. We're still within spec. We're still working at uh, 120. We're still working at over 160. We're still working there. So let's go look at uh, no head water supply. There we go. Now let's kick it up to about. Uh, Kick it up to about 50 pounds. That's kind of what I expect in my situation. And we have a lot less water, but uh, still quite useful. I'm going to take that along to fill the, fill the pressure cake back up and kicks in. And again, that's about uh, 150 watts, working easily over 150 psi. Looks pretty close to 55 psi. So anyway, that's what the cheap uh, eBay pump does. Maybe I turn it off, push it out of here so you can see it. <coughs> how well it works, how long it lasts. Uh, I guess that's pretty pretty variable depending on uh, uh, a lot of the experiences. Some people really find it useful and reliable and uh, others didn't.